Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, otherwise known as Rainy Day Makes, and today I wanted to share with you 10 free crochet patterns that I think are great for beginners or just an easy project that you want to add to your wardrobe or to your home. As always, all the links and everything will be down below if you want to try out any of these patterns. You may have noticed my sweater. I did finish my millennial jumper, so here it is. Very exciting. Um, it's very warm. It's 100% wool. So yeah, I'm pretty warm at the moment, but we're going to stick with it because I want to wear it for this video. Anyway, moving right along. The first pattern I have to share with you is the Briar Pocket Cardigan by For The Frills. This is a very easy pattern to follow. It's very much a beginner friendly pattern. It's actually the first cardigan that I made um, and I gifted it to a friend. They really liked it. So I highly recommend this pattern if you're looking for a simple crochet cardigan. The second pattern I have for you is another For The Frills pattern and that's the Stormborn Wrap. This is also a fairly easy pattern. I will say it dabbles a bit into decreases, so if you're not super comfortable with those, maybe practice a little bit more before trying this pattern out. But it is still, I think, a beginner friendly pattern and I made this for my grandma and she really liked it. She keeps it around her to keep her warm, um, which I think is great. The third pattern is actually one that I created, it's the Even Moss Scarf. This is a video tutorial, there's no written pattern, but it's fairly simple. Um, it's a very easy project, definitely beginner friendly. I'll link the video up above if you want to check that out and try this pattern out for yourself. As I said, it's a very easy pattern, definitely beginner friendly, could even be your first project, honestly. Next up is a pattern that I actually haven't had the chance to try out myself, and it's the Cloud9 Cropped Sweater by Meg made with love. It does look like a beginner friendly pattern and I plan on trying this out myself so I'll keep you posted with how it turns out. Next up is a pattern by Hey Carrie and if you don't know who Hey Carrie is, she is a crochet pattern designer and she has a ton of free patterns that are definitely beginner friendly. Some of them are a little more complex than others, but I think that she has some really great patterns. So if you want more free patterns, I would definitely suggest checking out hers. I haven't made any of her patterns, so I'll just give that one a disclaimer. I haven't made any of them, but they do look fairly easy to follow. First up, I have the chunky cardigan, and this just looks like a super comfortable cardigan that you can just snuggle up in if you wanted to. The sixth pattern I have to share is actually a Hey Carrie pattern as well, and I don't actually know Know how to pronounce it but it's the crochet e r i u r u <laughs> cardigan i'm sorry totally mispronouncing that probably um but it's that one this one is just the perfect cropped ribbed sweater which is sometimes a bit hard to find in crochet because it takes a bit longer um, to make the ribbed look uh, that we get with knitting so this one is definitely a little bit more advanced than the others but I still think it's fairly simple and would be easy for a beginner to follow. So now I'll move into more of the accessories or home goods that you can make. So first up is the Hexi Puff Coasters by TL Yarn Crafts. Another great crochet pattern designer is TL Yarn Crafts if you don't know about her. Um, she has some really great patterns, free and paid. Her video tutorials are also super helpful, um, so I'll definitely link all of her info down below. These coasters are super cute, super easy to make. I think I made maybe three of them in like one day. Um, so they're super quick. One thing to note, if you are a beginner and you want to make coasters or pot holders or really anything that will be exposed to heat, like high heat uh, cooking, um, just be sure to use a cotton yarn. Acrylic yarn is made of plastic, so at really high temperatures it actually can start to melt. So just one thing to be aware of. Next up is another pattern of mine. This one is actually a written pattern. It's the Bobble Mug Cozy, um, and this is just something that you can put on top of mugs. Next up is the Mushroom Tote Bag that I posted a little while back. This one was a very easy pattern to follow. I will also say that this one is a little more advanced, but I still think that a beginner could figure it out if they wanted it to. I did make the bag out of acrylic yarn, which is super stretchy. So if you're gonna make a tote bag, I would actually recommend using a cotton yarn since it has less stretch to it. Um, that's what I'll be doing in the future. But this was just some scrap yarn that I found at my secondhand thrift store. 
our secondhand craft store and I just wanted to use it. I really liked the color combo, so I went for it and my friend doesn't really seem to have any issues with the bag, so I think it worked out. But in the future, I will use cotton yarn just so that the bag retains its shape as we pile a bunch of stuff into it. And then last on my list is actually another TL Yarn Crafts pattern. It's the Jesse Stash Basket. So this one I thought was really funny because one of the things that I always struggle with and I know a lot of other creators struggle with whether you're sewing or, cr or crocheting or knitting is storage space um, and finding a place to put all of your materials and so this is actually a basket that you can make out of yarn um, whether it's scrap yarn or you just buy yarn and it can store more yarn so always a win right so those are 10 free crochet patterns some that i've tried some that i want to try another video that i thought about making for people who are just getting into crochet and maybe even knitting later on but i'm more experienced with crochet so that's why i thought about doing that one first is how to read a crochet pattern because i know that the abbreviations and the way that it's formatted and looking at the yarn weight and the hook sizes can all be a little bit intimidating. So if that's something you think would be helpful, feel free to let me know. Um, it's something that I wish I had spent more time with before jumping into my first pattern, so uh, I just want to provide that resource for others. So I think that about wraps up my video, so thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed. I also hope that you try out one of these patterns. If you do, feel free to let me know, and I would love to see the end result. But with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.